This is my first gear review, so be gentle, okay? Don't worry, I already threw the box away, so I won't make you watch me play with the bubble wrap. And I'm not gonna hem and haw while I drool over the flash, trying to think of things to say. And yes, I've actually used the flash, so I'm speaking from experience. Ah, heck, what I'm trying to say is that before I filmed this, I watched a lot of gear reviews, and you know what? Most of them suck. Now I understand why I hardly ever watch gear reviews. So as always, I'm gonna try and do things a little different. I want to introduce you to one of the most basic and awesome flash units on the market, the LumaPro LP180. Stay tuned. Hey gang, as I continue this deep dive into speed lights and off-camera flash lighting, I wanted to press pause and tell you what's so special about these LumaPro flashes that I keep talking about. I'm gonna start with this LumaPro LP180. Now, full disclosure, LumaPro did send me a bunch of their gear after I reached out to them. I've had it for a few months now, and since I've received it, I've gone out and bought more LumaPro gear and lithium-ion battery packs to go with them. All out of my pocket. I really love these strobes. LumaPro builds flashes for photographers who really care about lighting. Their strobes are solid workhorses that are easy to use, extremely reliable, and they even have a great sense of humor. I'll tell you more about that at the end of the video. These LumaPro strobes have been endorsed by the likes of David Hobby and Zach Arias, and if you're using speed lights and you don't know these two guys, shame on you. So let's start with the build quality. This thing is built solid. It looks solid, weighing in at 15 ounces without batteries, and after just a few seconds in your hand, there's no doubt that you're holding a piece of equipment that has been well designed. Not to mention, LumaPro offers a two-year warranty on this flash. How many speedlight manufacturers do you know that offer a two-year warranty? The LP180 is a manual-only flash. They refer to it as a quad sync flash because there are four different ways that you can fire the flash. The standard hot shoe, a 3.5 millimeter 1 8 inch mini phone port, a PC port, and a built-in optical slave that can be set to ignore the pre-flashes from other TTL strobes. Between the hot shoe, mini phone port, and the PC port, you can fire this flash with just about any wireless radio trigger on the market. And that is part of what I love about this flash. It's not tied to Canon or Nikon or any camera brand. In five or 10 years, when those companies decide to change how their flashes fire, I'll still be able to use this flash because it's not tied to a specific camera system, and I have four different options for firing it. Another really cool feature that LumaPro builds into all their flashes, it's a quarter 20 side mount that will allow you to mount your flash closer to the center of the umbrella than a traditional hot shoe mount will. It also comes in handy if you forget your swivel mount, as most light stands have a quarter 20 thread on the top. And if you forget your light stand, you can mount the flash to a tripod in a pinch. Or, if you have an assistant, you can make a voice-activated boom with a simple monopod. Like most speed lights, the LP180 works on four AA batteries. Now, at this point, there's no reason to really use alkalines unless it's an emergency. LumaPro specs say that the flash will recycle in four seconds at full power with the nickel metal high drive batteries. My test had the flash recycling in about four seconds with alkaline batteries at full power. Four nickel metal hydrides were completing the recycle in about two and a half to three seconds. Now the LP180 also has a high voltage battery port that lets you connect an external battery pack for longer use and faster recycling times. The flash uses the Canon style cord and with an external pack, you can get your recycle times down to one second at full power. I purchased the Godox PB820 and it works great. You can even get a splitter cable and run two strobes off a single battery pack. Now understand that when you start recycling any speed light at one second, if you shoot too many shots too quickly, you run the risk of overheating the flash and causing damage. Most speed lights just stop working until they cool down to prevent damage. The LP180 is equipped with a thermal cutoff that will slow recycling to protect the internal components, but still allow you to shoot. The LP180 also has an audible flash ready tone, which is great when you're working with people because you don't have to look away to see the ready light. You can keep your focus on your subject. 
The LP-180 is basically equivalent in power to the top of the line Canon and Nikon flashes. It has a guide number of 110 with a zoom head set to 105 mm If you're comparing it to monolites, it comes in somewhere between 55 and 60 watt seconds. The zoom settings range from 14 mm with the wide angle diffuser in place and without it from 24 mm to 105 mm. The head will swivel 180 degrees in either direction which gives you a full 360 degree total range. The bounce tilt will go from a negative 7 degrees to a full 90 degrees. The manual power settings range from full power to 1 1 28th power and can be adjusted by one third of a stop increments. The flash also has a built-in gel holder so you don't need scotch tape or another piece of gear to hold your gels. The little grips on the edge of the flash head bow the gels out and away from the flash head to avoid melting or distorting the shape of the gel. The hot shoe is metal with a sliding latch and a drop down pin as well as a weather resistant cover. And possibly the best feature of the 180, the controls. This flash is just plain easy to use and the menu is easy to read on the backlit LCD screen. The easy to feel keys are simple and intuitive which is really useful when you're working and in a hurry to adjust the flash. The LP180 comes with a heavy duty soft case that has a belt loop and a velcro pouch on the outside and an inside pocket that holds the small flash foot stand and the two sets of pre-cut Roscoe colored gels. One set is for color correction, the other set, color effects. Also included is a 3.5 mm mini phone to mini phone short sync cord. And last but not least, the instruction manual, which is totally worth the read, as it is without a doubt the funniest instruction manual I have ever read. Right down to the warning that you should not use the flash as a tanning device unless you're prepared to use a lot of AA batteries. And the warning that attempting to use the flash's components to build a time machine will avoid the warranty. So there you have it, a true workhorse of a flash. Well built, well designed, and easy to use. All for a wallet friendly price of $149.99. So until next time gang, remember that your best shot, it's your next shot. So keep learning, keep thinking, and keep shooting. Adios. Thanks for watching. If you find these videos helpful, please give them a thumbs up and share them with your photography friends. Be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And if you have a question that you would like answered, post it in the comments section below. Your questions could be my next video.